Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the Day. And I try things so you don't have to. You have stumbled upon another gut-wrenching episode of Eating the Dollar Stores. This is a series where I go up and down the aisles of the dollar stores finding what's edible and what's not. Today I will be reviewing the Snaps Pancake and Sausage on a stick. You find this in the frozen section. This is a four ounce package and there are two pancake and sausage on a stick sticks in the box. <laughs> Go ahead and don the old guy goggles so I can read the teeny tiny print on the side. There's two ways that you can cook these up in the conventional oven or the microwave. In the conventional oven you heat it up to 375 and frozen it takes 22 to 24 minutes in the microwave, you put it on a microwave safe dish, heat frozen product for 50 to 55 seconds each on high power. So I am going to shove these into the oven because I always like oven stuff and fried stuff better than microwave stuff. I will be right back. Okie doke, I'm back, all done. I love breakfast. I love pancakes. I love sausage. I could eat breakfast foods, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this is just like a mashup of the best of the best for me. Of course, I figured that it would be a really good thing to have a side of syrup around. This is dipping kind of stuff. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a bottle of syrup in my pantry. It's like I could have swore that I had purchased one and I couldn't find it. So I did find a little packet of Burger King syrup that I had gotten in the past. Burger King syrup is pretty flavorful. It has a nice buttery flavor to it. A little bit thin, but overall it's pretty good syrup. That right there is what came out of the oven. Um, good color to it. You'll notice it's a little smaller than what a normal corn dog size would be, but it looks very corn doggy. And it even smells like breakfast. If you didn't know that was a pancake, you'd think it was like a corn dog batter even. So it's got that color, it's got that texture, it has that look to it, but the taste is the thing, so let's give it a shot. Got some steam coming off of that puppy. Blow on it. Let's give it another shot. Just look inside at that crunchy pancake batter coating and the sausage in there. It has a nice crunch to it. It has a different crunch than a corn dog would. Um, it, I, I can definitely tell that it's a pancake rather than like a corn dog coating a. a um, what is it, cornmeal coating that they usually coat corn dogs with. So yeah, pancake flavor. Um, not a fan of the sausage. It's, it's not that it doesn't have taste, it just has a funky taste to it. Let's tear a little bit of the coating off so you can take a look at it. Closer look at the sausage from the side. Let's try this in uh, the syrup. It's definitely going to, to enhance the flavor. I don't want to hide it, but, you know, that's what condiments kind of do. Not even with syrup is this good. It's not the coating. It's definitely the sausage. Just has a funk taste to it. Now, Snap Stuff has been good to me in the past. They usually put out decent stuff. Not in this case. Being as it was over at the dollar store, it is only a buck in damage for you to buy. On the Nerdometer, I would give the Snaps Pancake and Sausage on a stick. Um, I would give this a... I'm sorry, I would have to give this an It Sucks. Wow. That flavor of the sausage just tastes wrong. It's not a matter of 
it, I just don't care for the seasoning. I don't care for the flavor. So I am disappointed with this. I had some high hopes for these things. I was hoping that these would be a good option for breakfast. As I said, they're smaller than a regular corn dog, so you would definitely need two to fill you up. But with that funky flavor of that sausage, why would you even want to? I mean, these are so weird tasting that I'm not even gonna finish them. Uh, they, they are unedible for me. They are going in the garbage. But of course, I wanna know what you thought. If you have tried the Snaps Pancake and Sausage on a stick, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. There you go. There you go, gang, another review in the bag. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And follow me over at my social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Old Nerd Reviews all around. Hit the website and find everything you need, oldnerdreviews.com. Do all that and you, you, you right there in the camera lens can become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll talk to you again. Bye now.